Hello, jazz friends all over the world. Sandra Sherman here. Greetings from Austria. I've made a chord melody arrangement of Moon River. It's fairly easy, but still sounds interesting. I'll show everything slowly and in detail. And I have tabs and a backing track to download from the description box below the video. All right, let's get on board. Let's cross Moon River. in the key of C major and we have a 3-4 time signature this time. We have an unusual song form. A1 is 16 bars long and then we have an A2 section which is uh, 22 bars. All right, uh, I use hybrid picking along the way which means I use, uh, I use my, uh, my pick and my fingers and you can use your fingers only too if you want to. All right, here's the first phrase. This is uh, the first six bars of the song. We start with the C major 7. That's the 8th fret of the E string, the 9th ninth, ninth of the D and the 9th of the G and the 8th of the B string. That's a regular C major 7 chord and the melody is on top. And now I fill it up so it's not the, uh, the bar is not that empty. I play the bass again and I play after that I play the middle two strings the D and the G string again together. And the counting for a three four bar in this case is one two and three. So and three has the rhythm it's the rhythmic filler. Alright, now we change over to a simplified A minor 11 chord. I take advantage of that open A string. Then I have my 9th uh, of the G, 8th of the B string and the 10th of the E string. I play all four strings at once. River. And for that second chord, A minor, I bridge my index over and I get 9, 8, 8 of the upper three strings and I don't play the bass anymore. So I have river. Okay, first two bars. Right, now we have an F9 sharp 11 chord. That sounds like a tricky chord, but it really isn't that much. Um, difficult. It's just a bar chord on the 7th from the D string right over to the high E string and in the middle on the G and the B I have uh, my 8th fret bar, uh, my 8th fret. 7, 8, 8, 7. The root would be here but we don't play that. This is an F. All right, we, we play that once and now it's the melody. Pinky goes to the 10th of the B then I lift it up again and play that B string, that's the 8th fret, and then pinky goes to the 10th of the G string. One, two, and three, and, and back to C major, which we had before, eight, nine, nine, eight. One, two, and then on count number three, 
I go to the tenth of the D string and play it alone. One, two, three. And then I repeat those last two bars, that F9 sharp 11, C major, and that's it for, for the first uh, phrase, and I'm, I'll play it slowly now for you. One, two, three. Right, phrase two are the next four bars and here we go we have a B half diminished now so you have quite a move from up here with your ring finger you go down to the third fret you because this one stays remains on that same string okay what well we have B half diminished regular jazz chord second fret of A third of D second of G and third of B and I play that once all together. One, two, and now I have a rhythm filler again. On two and we have that bass note, the A string again. One, two, and three. Has the middle two strings again. We know that filler already. So that's the D and the G string. And this time I have a little included a little bass line also. I go to the F, that's the first of the E string because the next chord is going to be an E chord and I play the open E string. All right, so we have one, two, three. And while this is ringing, I move my fingers up here. I have the sixth of the D string. This is going to be an E7. So that's a two, five. E7 um, is ringing E string, still ringing, 6th of the D, 5th of the uh, G, and the 3rd of the B string. You play these three, and then you kind of bridge over to get, without a rhythmic gap, rhythmic gap, to the 5th of the B. So don't go and jump like this, but kind of do it like, play it like this. an E7 sharp 5 and we just have three quarter notes one two three that's simple then we go to A minor regular A minor cowboy chord we play the inner four strings that's the open A the second of the D the second of the G and the first of the B string inner four strings one, two, and three. We have our rhythm filler again. On two end is the A string. And on count three, we have the middle two strings, D and G. One, two, and three. All right, and the last one is a C7 cowboy chord. A third of A, fifth, actually we don't even play that, uh, but we fret it because we're used to it. Three, five, three, five, three. So this is a bar chord with uh, the D on fifth and the B on fifth. What we play though is only the A string, that's the root, and the upper three strings, the G, B and E strings, all together. Then I pick that B string again because here's another melody note. Then I lift it up and I press hard against that um, for that bar chord and get the B string on the third. One, two, uh, sorry, one, two, three, and. So this one lasts long. One, two, three, and. All right, and here's the entire phrase number two at slow tempo for you. One, two, Three. One, two, three. Phrase three are the last six uh, bars of the A1 section, and we start with an F major seven. 
we, we were at that C7 and that resolves to F major 7. And we have a regular jazz chord, first of um, E, second of D, second uh, fret of G, and the first fret of B. Like that C major chord in the beginning, same chord shape. And now the same filler, one, two, three, as usual. On two end, I play my E string, and on count three, I play the D and G strings together. One, two, and three. All right. And then we go up to B flat, 13. Sixth of E, you can glide along. Sixth of the uh, D, seventh of G, and eight of B. All four together. And then to B flat seven flat five. The trick is to leave this, these two fingers in place. <coughs> the B flat, the root, is replaced by the thumb. Okay, really, you get used to it. So use your thumb, and now the index has the uh, fifth of the B. So six, six, seven, five, nothing on the A string. B flat 7 flat 5 chord from B13 1 2 3 and we play that G string on the 7th fret all right and now it's to A minor 7 that's uh, like the cowboy chord but with the ring finger up off up, off, whatever. A string, second of D, nothing on G, uh, um, zero, op open string, and first of the B. We don't play the E strings, so inner four strings. Then we play the open high E string alone, and then the third fret of the uh, high E string. One, two, three. And now we have a tricky chord. That's an F half F sharp minor seven flat five. F sharp half diminish. English chord names uh, confuse me a bit. I'm sorry. So this is the F sharp. It's on the ninth of the A string, the uh, ninth of the G string. Nothing on the D string this time. Okay, this is drop voicing the tenth of the B string and the eighth of the E string. Gotta get used to this one. All right, F sharp, half diminished. One, and then it's over to B7 sharp five. That's seventh. That looks exactly the same as the F9 sharp 11 we had in the beginning, and it actually is. This is a tritone substitute for the B, so without the root, it's the same chord actually. 7 of D, 8, 8, and then 7 of high E by barring. And then we have another melody note going on on the 10th of the B. So what we have in this bar is F sharp, B, melody. Okay, from A minor. Now it's for the resolution A, uh, E minor 11. I, I'm on the uh, seventh of the A string. I bar through it and then I have my middle finger on the eighth of the B string and I play the upper three strings along with the bass with the A string. So what I have is seven, seven, eight, seven. Then it goes to its five chord and that's an A7 sharp 5. We just had a B7 sharp 5, now it's an A7 sharp 5. 5 of D, 6, 6 G, B, and another 5 by barring. And then our pinky goes to the 8 of the B. So the figure is the same, but the chords are a little different. And now the resolution to this is a D minor chord. And it's the same we had on the E minor, D minor 7, 5, barred all over, 5 of G, 6 of B, and 5 of E by barring. We just play the upper three strings, 
and the A string. And that was it. And now we have a little bass line again that go, leads us to the A2 section. One, two, and three. I play the G sharp, that's the fourth of the E, and the G, that's the third of the E. One, two, and three. And then it's for the A2 section. But first, let me play that uh, phrase number three at slow tempo for you. One, two, three. Welcome to the A2 section. This is phrase 4 and actually phrase 4 is the same as the first nine bars of section A1 or in other words uh, phrases number 1 and 2 are equal to phrase 4 except for that last bar. So um, I'm not going to show it again but I'm going to play it again. I'll play it right now for you so you know how long that lasts and when we're changing to the next phrase. All right here we go. One two, three. Here is phrase number five and we are on the second of our E minor chords and this time it has a G in bass. So we are on the third of the E string, second of D, second of G, first of uh, B and, and, um, and nothing on the E and, and the open E string. We just play the upper three strings plus that third, uh, that third fret. A minor slash G. Count to two, one, two, then you lift your pinky up, off, and put it on the third of the E string. That's another G, right? One, two, three, and then it's up to an F sharp half diminished. We had it already. Nine of A, nine of G, ten of B, and eight of E. And the filler, the rhythmic filler again, is the bass on the A string, and this time the G and B strings together, because we have nothing on the D string to fill. So that entire bar is. Then it's for an F13 chord. F would be here on the eighth fret of A, but we don't play it, so we have the seventh of the um, D string, eight and eight of G and B, and the tenth of the E string. Then we count to two, lift that uh, pinky up and press against the high E string. So we have seven, eight, eight, eight. That's an F9 chord. F13, F9, right? C major seven is next, like our first chord, eight, nine, nine, eight. One, two, and now you have a regular filler, rhythm filler again, bass, and then the D and G string. Right, one, two, and three. And here is the entire phrase number five at slow tempo for you. One, two, three. And here's phrase number six. We start with an F9 chord, 
about the same as we had before, but this time it's with the bass note. Eight on the A string, that's the root. Seven of the D, and eight and eight of G and B. Don't play that E string because the melody's on the B string now. Once, and then we change over to that F9 sharp 11 chord we already hit. That's the seventh of D, eight, eight G, B, and the seventh of E by barring. And from here we have a melody that we already had. Tenth of B, lifting that finger up again, off again, B string on the uh, eight, and G string on the tenth. Okay, so that's the same melody we already had, but with an F uh, preceding it, F9. One, two, and three, and... Okay, then we go to C major. Eight, nine, nine, eight, we had that before, and fill it with the, our regular rhythm filler. One, two, and three. That was the bass and the D and the G string afterwards, after it. Okay, from F. That phrase is being repeated, but I didn't want to repeat it, so I, I arranged it differently. I arranged it in sixths. So we start with uh, the G on the G string fifth, and then please use these exact fingers and not these, because then it's easier to change. Seven of G and the seventh of the E string, and that middle finger is our guiding finger will remain on the G string all the time. Then down to the fifth. So then we glide with the middle finger to the fourth, but the ring finger lifts off and is replaced by the index on the third. So four of G and three of E. And two down, that's two and one. Then E minor 7, actually it's just an E minor chord, no, E minor 7, here is the 7th. Um, low E string, the 4th of the G, the 3rd and 3rd of B and E. And now we can't fill it up our regular way, so what we do is we uh, play the G string one more time and then the G and B strings. Make it soft because it's very close to the melody and we don't uh, want to ha uh, have it interfere with the melody. And that was it for phrase six. Here it is at slow uh, tempo. One, two, three. Hey, you made it to the last phrase, phrase number seven. And we come from that E minor seven and we move to A minor seven. That's an open chord, open A string, second of D, open G string, and first of B, just the inner four strings. Then we have our rhythm filler with our A string. And then this time we uh, fill with D, G, and B strings, all three strings. So we have We go to D minor seven. That's the uh, low D, the D string. Then, then the um, second of the G and the first and first part over the B and E. D minor seven. This is. Then a pinky goes to the uh, third fret of the B string. And now the melody is over except for the last note. And now we have some fillers going on. I play that minor third in bass that's on the first fret of the E string. But I play it quietly so it doesn't interfere with anything. And now it's for G7. I go to G, that's the third of the E string. I play the third of the G, that's the uh, second of the uh, B string, all after each other. And quietly. 
now is that another melody note that's the high E string and we play it a little louder um, and the last chord is a C6 that's like an A minor with a C in bass third of A second second of D and G and the first of the B in a four strings are played only and I suggest you arpeggiate it slowly with your pick, gl pick glide through the strings in a four strings or with your thumb thumb all right here is that last phrase phrase number seven at slow tempo one two three beautiful tune what you think if you like it as much as I do and if you think I was able to teach you something please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that little bell notification so you never miss out on a new video I hope to see you next week Servus Baba from Vienna ciao ciao